Hi everyone, it's Corinne, and welcome to this episode of Mindset Mondays. I'm coming to you from the courtyard of my office, so I apologize if there's some background noise. <laughs> the conference room wasn't available, so here we are. Um, here's a topic that a viewer, Gemma, suggested, which is dealing with the feast or famine cycle um, in a freelance business. Oh, Gemma, that's just you. Haha. <laughs> no, it's not. That's all of us. So I've got four ideas for you on how to deal with, I, I, don't necess, I wouldn't necessarily say feast and famine, but with the ups and downs of work volume being a freelancer. Number one, as much as you can, accept that being a business owner always means ups and downs. Like if you, I'm recording this a week before Christmas, if you own a retail business, you are going out of your mind right now, right? Um, because that's life when you own a store. There are times for translators that are up and down, for interpreters that are up and down. So number one, accept that if you own your own business, you're never gonna have just enough work you're mostly always gonna have a little too little or a little too much. And personally for me, because I hate freaking out about money, I'd rather have a little too much. Number two, build up a cash cushion for your business using a business savings account. So not having work when you'd like to be working is always stressful, but the money side should not be stressful because you should have enough money in your business savings account that you're not like having a panic attack when you don't have work for three days. That shouldn't be happening. And the way you do that is force yourself to save a certain percentage of every job into a business savings account, which may lead you to go, oh wait, I'm not charging enough money to do that. Okay, then we need to help you find new clients. <laughs> That's another video. Uh, but build up that cash cushion. Number three, make the most of the slow periods okay all of that stuff that you've been meaning to do that you never have time for well when you don't have work you have time so work on professional development update your website update your linkedin profile write articles do all of those things that are constantly slipping off the to-do list number four the simplest and the hardest market consistently always have enough work in the pipeline that you can turn down the lower paying work and focus on the higher paying work. That is hard for me too. I try and try and try to do that and I really need to be better at it as well, but I think it's important to put that tip out there that if you just do, you know, like the equivalent of stock market cost averaging and say, I'm going to send out a marketing pitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, no matter how busy I am, then I think your work volume will even out a lot. Poor tips. Make your peace with it as much as you can. Develop a cash cushion. Make the most of the slow times. Market consistently. Thanks.